Mayor Rahm Emanuel's hand-picked Public Safety Committee chair is ridiculous. It's an insult. When you have a coalition, a grassroots coalition that has been pushing forward CPAC for over a year, when you have a coalition of grassroots community groups that have put forward their own ordinance that doesn't go as far as CPAC, but is definitely much better than what Aaron Ruperas introduced, it is absolutely ridiculous and it is an insult to Laquan McDonald and Rakia Boyd and all of the victims of police violence that at the last minute this ordinance would be introduced by the mayor's hand-picked public safety committee chair. We know how the city council works. That ordinance would not have been introduced if it had not been coordinated with the fifth floor and with Mayor Rahm Emanuel. We know that that ordinance would not have that many co-sponsors if there had not been made phone calls to those aldermen from this mayor's office saying we need to sign on to this effort. So because that ordinance is an insult, I sent it to the rules committee so that we can then see the machinations at City Hall. We can see when they call up the meeting in the rules committee to move that ordinance out of rules and put it back into the public safety committee so that they can have a hearing right away. The only hearing that needs to happen is the hearing on the ordinances that have come forward from community groups. Let's have a real conversation about real police accountability reform. Let's have a hearing on CPAC and let's have a hearing on GAPA as well. Ultimately, I will push for CPAC because I think that what we truly need is a democratically elected body to outdo and to, be, to replace everything that's currently there. So the reality here is that we know that Mayor Rahm Emanuel controls the Chicago City Council. We know that he appoints the chairs of our committees, and we know that the committee chairs do not do anything without coordinating with the fifth floor. So the demand here is coming forward from the public, and the demand is that we have a real conversation about police accountability reform. Filing Rule 41, bringing the issue to a vote on the floor, brings forward that conversation and moves forward this demand. But you don't have the vote, so what have you accomplished? What we've accomplished is bringing forward the demand that 50,000 Chicagoans have said they want to see. In over 25 wards, we have over 1,000 people that have reached out to their all and said, we want true civilian oversight, we want CPAC. They are owed a vote on the floor. This is democracy, and that is why we're going to file this Rule 41 and bring it to a vote when it has to happen.